talk to you. I'm just going in order of the exhibit number. It's 537YA. I believe it's a song, Bad Boy. Is that fair? Yes. And you said it's released. No, I'm sorry. You said it's released. Give us it a uh, year again or a month again. We said that it was uploaded, uh, premiered January 15, 2021. Okay, so January 2021 is approximately, approximately uh, six years after January 2015. Fair to say? Yes. All right. And in that, you um, highlight or articulate or focus us on a particular lyric. I just want to get the lyric. And that lyric is, I shot at his mommy, now he lo no longer mentioned me. Fair to say? Yes. All right. <clears throat> yes. And you related that back to January, I may have kept, get me on these dates, January 22nd, 2015, January 26th, 2015, shooting at Mr. Bennett mother's home and, and his mother got shot on the 2nd or January 26th, 2015 date. Fair to say? Yes, but that second part of he no longer has mentioned me, it refers to the back and forth that he and Lucci did on social media for the whole world in Atlanta to see they were going back and forth for a while. Okay, I want to talk to you about that back and forth, okay? <laughs> if the shooting happens in January 2015, mm -hmm. and the lyric that you're telling the jury about and educating the jury is, I shot his mommy, now he no longer mentioned me, is it your understanding that since the shooting, he being, you're saying Mr. Bennett, right? Wife and Lucy? I'm saying that the mother is the, that's who, yeah, that's who he said. I, he, no, he no longer has mentioned me. He's referring to uh, Lucy. Wife and Lucy. Yes. Also known as, well, his given name is Mr. Bennett. Bennett. Right. Okay. So you're saying since January 26, 2015, if I'm wrong, just correct me, Mr. Bennett no longer mentions Jeffrey Williams, is that what the lyric means to you? No, the lyric means to me that we have been going back and forth, talking about each other, targeting each other on social media, having words go back and forth. And I think that whenever, I think the Jeffrey Williams put something out about uh, his mother. He said something about his mother on uh, social media about he glad he takes care of his mother or something like that. So I'm thinking that he, he was just taunting or, or just, just like he was doing on the videos that he was making. He was taunting him in this song. Okay. And I know you're giving a state of mind. You're trying to say what Jeffrey Williams was doing. But through your investigation and through this lyric, are you not saying that once the shot, God forbid, came to the mother, once the shot? on January 26, 2015, this lyric means that he, Minister Bennett, no longer mentions me? Is that what the lyric means? And if it's not, and if your answer just states... I can't say what exactly it means. I, I'm saying what I saw as an investigator, as a gang investigator, when the back and forth and the gang beef continued way after the 2015. Now, the, the word... The, the, the words before... In the art, do you, do you know what the words are right before I shot his mommy, now he no longer mentions me? I don't have that uh, copy of those in front of me. If I showed you a copy, would that refresh your memory? I, please. Okay. Do you have it? Yes. Given you, if you want to see anything else from the song, just let us know. Okay. If that refreshes your memory. You're telling me that it does. Okay. I see where you got the arrow. Okay. 
can you tell the jurors if, it, if it's accurate, you know, from your investigation, if it's accurate, otherwise we could pull up on Google, whatever you want. Um, Tell the jurors what the line is above the line that you highlighted for the ladies and gentlemen juror. It says, you say you won't smoke. <clears throat> I've been coming down the chin chimney. And then the next line is the line about. You got barbecue, your B word. I'm so fried and they crispy. How does the line that you highlighted for the jurors, how does that coincide, if you know, in context with the line about the chimney and the barbecue? The part about the smoke is significant because that's uh, slang for you want to keep starting stuff or you want a, you want a piece of me or you want, it's just, it's slang for, you know, when they say you want all the smoke or I got the smoke or you don't want no smoke. <laughs> so that's significant. But the part about the uh, barbecue and the fried and crispy, I, I can't. I can't say what that meant. Detective, you told the jury that you don't study Jeffrey Williams' lyrics or songs. How, how did you come about learning about these chosen lyrics from these three songs? It's not that I didn't study them or I don't study them. It's that I can read <laughs> words and I see what the words say. And a lot of times if I'm investigating something or if I know it's an ongoing beef between you and the ops and you sending messages through your music or through your through the words that you're putting on paper or on, on wax or whatever they call it, it it's, it's noticeable because of the investigation. Wouldn't you want to then go out and ask somebody who was there at the time of the creation of that song, how did this, how did this lyric come about? No, it's, it's self-explanatory mostly. I mean, it's just, it's words, but the words mean stuff. It means something. From your vantage point of what you do for a living, those words mean exactly what you believe. Yes, it's, it's been several songs that have gotten people killed around Atlanta, for sure. Do you know how many, what rap songs are primarily, I'm not saying every one, primarily about What's, rap music. What is rap music about? Yeah. Did you ever it's, it's bother? Ex, it's, it can be expression. It, it depends on, you know, I guess who it is and what they're saying. Every rapper don't rap about violence and guns and gangs and killing. Does so, any other rapper rap about violence and gangs? And it's killing? a lot of rappers rap about guns and gangs and violence all the time. And do you ever go, have you ever been to a concert, Jeffrey Williams? No. You have been to a concert of any uh, performer, rap performer? I was just at Usher the other night, but he's not a rapper. Okay. Well, have you ever been at any when you consider a rapper? Uh, yes. Um, maybe not recently, but I have been to rap concerts. I'm not really into rap late as of late. Do you ever notice the crowd, that they're all diverse? Yes. Do you know whether rap is the number one the number one gross industry financially in the world. That type I of believe media. that. Do you ever think about why is it popular? Objection relevant sustained. Do you know whether this type of violence and gangs and killing 12, is that popular? It is, but it shouldn't be. Let me ask you about um, just how it is, okay? I think that's the third one that you asked about. Okay. Oh, before we go to that bad boy, who is the co-artist on that? The jurors saw a video. There were two people singing. Yes. That's another rapper. Who is that? I don't know, bad boy. One more time. You don't have to look at anything. I mean, I'm looking at the name of the person. I don't know him. I just know that uh, he's, a, he's a collaborator with uh, Mr. Uh, Williams. Do you know that person's performer's name? No. Do you know whether any of these lyrics were changed in any way after they were actually s sung? 
No, I don't know that. Do you know whether that can occur? I mean, if it's, I mean, anything's possible, but whenever they play it on the radio or play it on YouTube or, or you can kind of look at the, what the words are and, and the person is actually wrapping it on a music video and you can see it visually, then the words are the words. I'm saying after it's actually recorded, do you know whether sound engineers or record producers, do you know whether any of the lyrics sometimes get changed? It's possibly, but like I'm saying, once it's released, the words are the words. In uh, 539YA, it's just how it is. Mm -hmm. And in that one, you referenced, um, I'd done the jacking. Now I'm full-time rapping. Remember that? Yes. Do you know whether any other artist has that exact, that exact lyric before Jeffrey Williams used it in the song? I don't know. You also targeted, in my words, targeted, mentioned um, the word wax. You just said that. Do you remember that? Yes. Tell the jurors what wax means. This just, it was just my terminology of uh, whenever music is made uh, or the tracks. Yeah, I kind of referenced that with the tracks that are made or the, you know, or they put it on wax. It could be like on a, a record or, you know, I'm old, so it could be a, a album or a cassette tape for all I know. But it's just a term that a lot of the artists use when they laying down the tracks or the music. So this song that um, the jurors heard is n entitled Just How It Is, fair to say? Yes. And in that, you targeted the second time, we known to kill the biggest, and I think you said... Um, I think I said kitty, but I think it's cat. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I think you said something like kittens of the kitties or something. But it's the biggest kitty of the cats, I think I said, but it, it, I had it backwards. I think it's That's fine. We, we killed the biggest cat of all the kitties. Okay. And you told the jurors that in your vantage point, you believe that that may have some reference to Jeffrey Williams, from Jeffrey Williams to the uh, Donovan Thomas killing. That's what you said? Yes. Okay. Were you aware of Jeffrey Williams... Um, being friends with Donovan Thomas in January 2015? I am. Okay. And when it says, we known to kill the biggest, and I think you corrected, cats of all the kitties, the line before that, do you have the words in front of you? I don't. Would you need to see something? Yes, please. Uh, say, uh, you want me to read the line before, are uh, we known to kill the biggest cats? Yeah, if it refreshes your memory, if that's accurate, yes, if you don't mind. We don't speak about the S word on wax, it's all mob business. And then goes right into... We known to kill the biggest cats of all kitties. So that line above, the one about we don't speak on wax, from your definition of wax, does that mean we don't speak on record, we don't go on um, something that's permanent to talk about mob business? Is that fair to say? Yes. But then this entire song is about criminality. Or most of it, I don't want to say all of it. The the song kind of, you know, it, it it talks about the beef that or uh, the interaction at Lennox, which happened. Uh, it asks, they tell you to ask the cops, the detectives, they know all the business. So, you know, on one hand, saying that we're not going to talk about it, but we That's talk about it. That's my point. So it's interesting in that song saying we're not going to talk about anything, but yet it's being talked about, right? Yes. You don't know whether any of this music, these lyrics, I know you don't know who wrote them, but you don't know if they're just art, do you? And not autobiographical. It, it, it can be art. It can be looked at as art. I agree that it's art, but I think that when actual crimes are committed and you brag about it in a song or you, you, you reference it in a song or you... Uh, taunt your ops uh, in a song, then 
it causes problems. Because I, like I said, I've seen where songs have gotten 12-year-olds, 14-year-olds killed in here in Atlanta because of things that were said in a song. Well, that, that's terrible. But where in any of these songs that you looked at does it mention the op means opposition? Fair to say? Yes. Where does it ever mention um, IF gang? What? IF gang. It does not. I mean, that's your, and you're, you're entitled to it, but that's your opinion. That's your personal opinion, right? Yes. Okay. Where does any of these songs mention Jeffrey's friend, Donovan Thomas? It don't. Now, I want to go to Jeffrey's um, releases, album releases, and songs releases. If you're not familiar with them, I'm not going to ask you about them, but are you familiar with his songs, like the names and how they're spelled? And uh, I'm not. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. That's fine. Um, with regards to, you know who Dwayne Carter is? I do. Performing phenomenal performer known as Little Wayne. Yes. Are you familiar with his music? Yes. Are you familiar that on or about the 26th day of April 2015, he was here in Atlanta and in a tour bus, and that tour bus was fired upon? Yes, that was a part of our operation planners. Okay. Now, you knew Jeffrey Williams was performing in or around Holly Grove, Louisiana during that same time, same date. Fair to say? Yes. yes. All right. Now, were you aware through your investigation, now, were you aware through your investigation, through you or your teammates, your prosecution team, that earlier that year, 2015, 2014, Jeffrey Williams and the performer known as Lil Wayne um, did music together? No, I didn't know that. Were you aware that in 2000, in 2016 and 17 and 18, Jeffrey Williams and the performer known as Lil Wayne did music together. Objection, I assume it's fact finding evidence. I'm asking. It's gang. I'm asking. I'm asking questions if she's aware. All right. Through your investigation, to you or anyone else, can you tell the ladies and gentlemen jury whether Jeffrey Williams and Lil Wayne did music together 2016, 17, and or 18. I didn't see that in the investigation. All right. Do you know if anybody ever spoke with Lil Wayne during your investigation? Mm, I think they might have spoke to his people, maybe, around the tour bus incident. Okay. But I'm, I'm not sure who and how, because that was like a Cobb County incident. So I think somebody there did. I'm excluding like a tour bus driver or something. I'm saying like the, the, let's do this. Anybody, to your knowledge, ever speak with you, I assume it's not you because you would have told us, but you or other people on your team ever speak with Little Wayne's um, musical assistants? Not that I know of. All right. Were you aware that Little Wayne put out since the tour bus shooting more recently um, an album with Jeffrey Wood or a song with Jeffrey Williams. Objection. Assuming facts on it. Sustained. Do you know whether Lil Wayne has put out a song with Jeffrey Williams since the tour bus shooting? I don't. 